Those are three, three of our 3D objects. Our other 3D objects that we're going to talk about, the next one is going to be made up of squares, okay? All squares, let's see. Um, Miss Bowden's gonna draw this one out. Okay, here's all of our squares. Let me see if I have an object in here that's similar to it. Um, hmm. I don't have one that's in my kitchen, but this one's close enough to it. I can show you my ice cream maker. Let's see, let's take off the top. So here's the ice cream maker. It's close enough to what I gotta show you to get the point across, but that would be our cube. Some real life objects of our cube would be items like a block, a building block, or a dice, the dice that we use in class to roll. Those are great objects of cubes because they're made up of squares. Now, all of these flat sides are the faces. So think of a dice. Get a dice out in front of you, okay? If you have a dice out in front of you, it's going to have six square faces. Six faces. So you've got, think of a box. One, two, three, four. You've got the four sides of a box, the front, the sides, and the back. And then you've got the top and the bottom of the box. So that's six total, because you've got one, two, three, four, and then top and bottom, five and six. So you've got six faces to it. Okay, do you see how these are perfectly straight lines that connect it? Those are our edges because they're perfectly straight and they make corners. So we've got, it's gonna be a tough one, but we've got one, two, three, four edges right there. Okay, let's do our square in the back. Five, six, seven, eight. And then we gotta connect them. Nine, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 straight edges in a cube. So crazy, so many. Okay, now we gotta go to the vertices because those vertices are those corners. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight vertices. Eight vertices or eight corners in a cube. So a cube is made up of all squares, which means every single side of it is the exact same size six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Now I'm gonna give you another object that's similar to a cube, but it is made of all rectangles. So it's called a rectangular prism. And so a rectangle is different than a cube because all the sides are not the same size. But let me write this name down, rectangular prism. But look at it. Doesn't it look very similar to a cube? It does. It's like a tissue box or any type of long box that you may have. Now, we've got both of these look exactly the same. This is a cube because it's made up of squares. Rectangular prism is made up of rectangles. So guess what they have in common? They have the same number of side of faces. They both have six faces. They both have 12 edges and they both have eight vertices. So all of this is the exact same for each of them. I've got a rectangular prism to show you. My ice cream maker's box. This is a rectangular prism. Look at this rectangle. Here's one face, two face, three face, four face, and here's back to the front. And then you got the top, which is five, and the bottom, which is six. So there's six faces. Then we've got 
the edges, which are the straight sides, and the vertices, which are the corners. It's the same amount as that cube. So a cube and rectangular prism are both the same because they both have six faces, 12 edges, eight vertices, except cube is made up of squares. Rectangular prisms are made up of rectangles. Now, now let's think about this. They're square. They've got edges and sides. Do you think it's gonna roll? No, I just pushed it and it didn't go anywhere. It flipped over once, that was it. So no. Cubes and rectangular prisms will not roll because they have no rounded sides. Will they stack? Yes, these are the best things to stack and build objects with. So they are great for stacking, but they are not good for rolling. Okay, that is gonna be all the ones I introduced for you today. Now, I am gonna assign you Actually, we're gonna introduce one more really quick because it is on your worksheets that I'm gonna give you and I want you to be prepared for it. Our last one is called a pyramid. So a pyramid looks similar to a cone where it's got a point at the top, but the only difference with the pyramid and the cone is that bottom face because a pyramid is going to, let's, let's see if Ms. Bowden can draw it. A pyramid is going to have a square bottom. So the bottom makes a square and then all the sides are gonna come up into points and look, it makes little triangles. So a pyramid is made up of two 2D shapes, a square and a bunch of triangles. So we've got a square at the bottom of our pyramid, which would be a one face, so one square face. And because a square's got four sides, it's got four triangle faces on each side. So that would be four faces plus one square face would give me five total faces, five faces, which is made up of one square and four triangles. Oh, let me write the word pyramid so we know the name of our shape. Okay, now let's talk about the edges, those straight sides. So we've got one, two, three, four that make up our square. And then we've got one coming up, two in the back, three, four. Four plus four gives me Eight, eight edges, eight straight sides, four at the bottom, and then you have one that comes up each, kind of like a teepee, except it's gotta have a square bottom, because if it was round, it wouldn't have any edges and it would be called a cone. But because it's a square bottom, it's called a pyramid. Okay, let's talk about them points. It's got one, two, three, four, five, five vertices, five vertices to it, five corners in it because it has those edges. So the difference between a cone and a pyramid is that a cone has got one circle face and it's round, whereas a pyramid has got that square face and it's made up of squares and triangles. Okay, do you think a pyramid, because it's squared, do you think it's gonna be able to roll? No, because there's no round sides to it. Do you think you can stack pyramids? Just like the cone, only on top, because it's got that point, and you can't put anything on that point. Okay, long math lesson today because we have so many shapes we have to review. Well, today for your worksheets to review these shapes, Miss Bowden is going to give you just a simple find the 3D object and color it the specific color it is. So there's tons of 3D objects and you should find it and color it the specific color just to practice recognizing those 3D shapes. And then I'm also going to give you a 2D and 3D sort. 
So some are 2D shapes, some are 3D shapes. Sort them out just to make sure you know the difference between a flat 2D shape and a object that is 3D that you can hold, okay? And then I'm also gonna post for you your daily math review homework like we've been doing. Today, we are on day seven. Only day seven today, got it? Okay, long math lesson today, but you guys got this. I'm gonna review tomorrow again for our 3D shapes and give you another practicing game to do. But be on the lookout for science later.